Hello there, my fellow Royal fans. Today's headline. During their first joint interview since leaving the firm, Meghan claimed she had struggled to get mental health support within the Royal family. In the chat with famous US TV host Oprah Winfrey, she also alleged a family member made racist comments ahead of Archie's birth in 2019. In response, Buckingham Palace issued a rare statement on behalf of the Queen, expressing regret for Meghan's difficulties. However, it added some recollections may vary about the events she described. Prince Harry also spoke very candidly in an interview with actor Dak Shepard for the Armchair Expert podcast and in another docuseries on mental health with Oprah. The Duke raised the eyebrows when he compared royal life to living in a zoo and appearing to criticise Prince Charles' parenting style, sparking backlash from royal commentators and fans alike. Speaking to Us Weekly, a source said the Sussexes don't regret their interviews, but are trying to maintain good relations with the Queen. They said, It's no secret that the last year, Harry and Meghan have been at war with the royals. All is not forgiven, but after all the backlash regarding their interviews, which, by the way, the pair have no regrets about, they're trying their utmost to maintain a good relationship with the Queen in order to keep the peace. Harry also discussed his relationship with the wider royal family on The Me You Can't See, a show on mental health he co-hosted with Miss Winfrey. The Prince revealed he turned to alcohol while struggling with the trauma caused by his mother's death in 1997. On Dak Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast, Harry described life in the royal family as a mixture of the Truman Show and living in a zoo. During the interview with Miss Winfrey, Meghan claimed there were concerns and conversations ahead of Archie's birth about how dark his skin might be. Harry confirmed the discussion took place, noting that conversation I am never going to share. At the time, it was awkward and I was shocked. Harry also alleged his father, Prince Charles, stopped taking his calls after he departed from the UK for Canada. The Sussexes caused a global sensation in January 2020 by announcing their intention to step down as senior royals. They currently live in an 11.2 million pound mansion <clears throat> north of Los Angeles in California, Meg Meghan's home state. Meghan gave birth to the couple's daughter, Lilibet Diana, Mount Batten, Windsor on June 4th. The happy news was released to the public two days later via the Sussexes Archwell website. Well, I'm glad to hear that that they have no regrets, for one, but I'm more glad to hear that they're trying to keep the peace with the Queen and the Royal Family. I think we've had enough drama out of them. They've said their peace, now let's let the healing begin. Do you agree? Comment, like, subscribe. See you tomorrow. Goodbye for now.